new film is premiering at the Sanctuary for Independent Media in Troy. It's a piece that examines the future of independent record stores entitled, I Need That Record. I Need That Record is a new documentary. It's just coming out. It's directed by a young filmmaker, a first-time filmmaker named Brendan Toller. The film examines why over 3,000 independent record stores have closed across the United States in the last 10 years. Reasons include digital technology, the development of big box stores, and increasing use of the internet. However, the actual full title of the film is still a little more optimistic. I need that record, the death or possible soul of the independent record record store. It's an important I think that's distinction because when you watch the film, and I have seen the film a couple of times, you'll see that it's not all a doom and gloom story. There is some sort of you know ray of hope for the future for those people who love records. But even in this day and age of technology, for some people, it doesn't match that actual vinyl. More and more people are, are returning to, to vinyl because it has a much warmer sound. Also, the liner notes are much easier to read. And the artwork isn't shrunk to almost where you need an mic uh, electron microscope to see it. Biff Hawk runs the Blue Note record shop in Albany. He says the old school style of listening to music is still relevant today. There's a special connection when you pick up that needle and you place it on the record and you choose which track it's going to go to. Not pushing a couple of buttons and at random wherever it goes. One thing that may be surprising, vinyl records aren't just older titles. Many big names are still putting albums out today for their latest release, including Queen, Leanne Womack, and Jackson Brown. This combination of modern artist and classic vinyl there may even be a record revival of sorts. The day doesn't go by that somebody doesn't come in looking for a needle to reactivate their turntables. A whole new generation is discovering the joy of vinyl. Where the sounds keep spinning. And if you're interested in seeing I Need That Record, it will be showing Saturday, 7 p.m. at the Sanctuary for Independent Media in Troy. For Capital News 9, I'm Vince.